there, folks. John Thompson here, Spring Framework Guru. Uh, I'm here today to show you how to get started with uh, Spring Boot. Uh, Spring's done a pretty slick job on this. If you go to the website start.spring.io, you'll find the Spring Initializer. So uh, this is a quick way to create a Spring application. So I'm going to go in here and change a few of the things. What this is going to do is configure a project for me. So you can see you have a few, few options here. I set up the group name uh, artifact and the name of the, the artifact that I want to build and gave it a description and also a package name. Uh, if I come in here, you do have several options for Maven Palm, Maven Project, Gradle Config, or Gra Gradle Project. I'm just going to leave it at the, the Maven Project. Uh, we're going to package in a jar. I'm using Java 1.8 on my machine. Um, <clears throat> and then you can specify a different Spring Boot version. I'm just going to go with the, the latest and stay off the snapshot one. Now you can also bring in some optional dependencies. Uh, I'm not going to get into that today right now. I just select, select the web and we'll throw in the, the time leaf uh, template engine. Now I'm just going to click on generate project. It comes up, asks me to, to download it. I'm going to save it. Now it's already downloaded to my machine. And I am going to copy this over into a working directory for my source files. So this is what uh, the spring, it actually brought down a zip file. I've uncompressed it here. And you're seeing the project structure. Now what I'm going to do is go over into IntelliJ and import a new project. And in this case, I'm going to go to my working directory. Click on the palm, say OK. And I'm going to leave everything default uh, in IntelliJ. Say next. So you can see it, it changed the package name of what I wanted to do. I'm going to say next. Uh, as for the JVM, JDK, I specified 1.8, so I'm going to use that. Now finish this up. And we can see what the project structure here in IntelliJ. So all it does is gives us a main class saying that's Spring Boot application. You can see it's also built up a project structure. There's really nothing in these guys. But the interesting thing is it's built up this POM for us, which has several dependencies in it. So let's take a quick look at those dependencies. So um, you can see here that it's got a couple new spring spring jars that it's bringing in. But what's interesting about this is that it brings in all the spring stuff that you need. So uh, through the spring spring boot starter, it's also bringing in uh, related versions of spring for you. So pretty nice approach here. So uh, this is a very quick way to get started uh, with, with the spring framework. Uh, right now I have a, a baseline project established and I can start coding in spring. Uh, what's nice about this, uh, in the old days, you'd have to go through and grab all these dependencies manually and build up a Maven Palm yourself. Here, you're uh, ready to get started right out of the batch. So I hope you found this uh, little webcast helpful. Uh, again, my name is John Thompson, Spring Framework Guru.